Well, hello, vlog. As always, it's so nice to see you. My name is Layla Sophia. In case anybody here is new, hello, hello, hello. Okay, and true, actually, this is very opposite to what I normally do, okay? I run around this little city and I never document it. And so my dear friend Moon, who you guys know and love, has invited me out to a little last minute coffee. And then I want to pop over if I have enough time. Pop over to this gallery that has a show closing like literally today and the gallery happens to be next to Bottega. So, you know, I'm just going to do a whole little vlog here and I hope you guys enjoy it. First of all, I don't know if this is if anybody else cares about this. It's probably just me, but I have tried so hard to like adapt a more <laughs> editorial makeup vibe. And this is it today. My version of that is just not doing mascara and or eyeliner, which feels radical to me. Also, I have a little friend here, so we're gonna ignore that. Um, so this is my no makeup, just a little eyeshadow vibe, and let's go for it. I am so excited, and uh, it's possible that I bought something. So let's just, should I show it right now? Yeah, let's just show it right now, because I kind of want to wear it. I wore essentially this exact outfit I'll show us before we leave in my little, boop, little mirror. I wore this exact outfit on two Monday, Tuesday of last week, one of those days with my brother. And again, I didn't film any of it. So essentially redo, <laughs> I can show you my actual outfit. I'll either wear my little Laura Piana extra pocket bag or this new bag. All right, <sighs> I'm gonna do a full unboxing video and comparison video, which I guess is giving it away, but hold on one second. Let me show you my new piece. I just couldn't help myself. All right, guys. Okay, if you know, you know. We already know what this is. I feel like it's very predictable. There's a little fuzz in my little jewelry corner. And yeah, I'm just gonna, I can't even believe I'm doing this. <laughs> this is so unprofessionally, but welcome to the family because I literally couldn't help myself. This is, hold on, let me shimmy her out. You guys already knew what this was gonna be. The Row 90s bag. In the new style, AKA the row round 90s, my apartment has the worst lighting of all time, which is why I need to do this so that I can show you her outside. And in very me fashion, hold on, let me bring us over to the mirror. I'm like, what's in the mirror? It's probably quite messy. Matisse is in her crate, if you can see her right down there. Okay, I wore this exact outfit, as I said, at the row. And I put it up against myself and I was like, sorry, 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 sorry. I can't even help it. I need to get her. But of course, in very me fashion, I had to debate for a day. <laughs> and then as soon as I figured out, I mean, honestly, maybe I should just wear it like this right now. But guys, how many vlogs in and we still haven't cleaned the mirror? I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Um, wow, that was a crazy train of thought. As soon as I realized that this dark brown that yes, I have a million of, will match better with all of my many other shades of brown because I almost thought, I almost was gonna get it in the color Sahara. And then I put this up against me, especially in a winter vibe because I'd only seen it in the summer. And I was like, okay, sorry. Sorry, I had to do it. Sorry to myself, sorry to whatever, but yeah, I had to do it. And then I thought to myself, oh my God, I already have a bag charm for her. Hold please. Like, sorry but this bag to boot charm. <laughs> bag charm. Okay, maybe this is too much for right now. But how cute is that? Oh my gosh, what is gonna be like, what? What is going on? Wait, let me do this. <gasps> wow, guys, look at that. <laughs> I'm such a millennial, I don't know what I'm doing. Um, This is quite cute. I was gonna see what's in the background. That's messy, but we're doing okay. <gasps> oh gosh, this is a crazy angle, hold on. Okay, sorry if that gave anybody um vertigo <sighs> do we like this this is pretty cute this is kind of evening-y so should i just wear it plain right now or just wear my laura piana and be a good person and and do a real unboxing of this okay well i just had to show you so i'll decide in one second
Okay, hello again. I feel like I end every vlog sitting <laughs> not back on my couch. First of all, I'm like very into this makeup look. I'm looking at myself being like, I don't know why I've never tried this before. Anyways, boring. Okay, I just have some thoughts to leave us with. I am so sorry that I saw that show on the last day because otherwise I would be like, go. That is one of the best art shows I swear I've ever seen. And I am a weird, like I really like sculptures like that also i'm realizing i didn't think ahead and i didn't think that it was gonna be a bit explicit so i hope that's okay to show on youtube but um those sculptures were so gorgeous and yes it was like very dark the people at the desk were explaining to me you start at the beginning and go up to the second floor and it was like about like darkness and death and then it goes into like even darker times and then goes into like whatever heavenly nirvana after life type thing anyway i'm not explaining it well and i'm not in my very artsy language right now because i just don't know enough about the artist but that show was incredible and i'm a sculpture kind of girly and so i just was like i am so grateful that i live in new york city because this is what i'll be doing every single week with my kids in the future god willing you know anyways that was incredible. I have some thoughts. I have some thoughts at Bottega. Okay, I went in and my regular sales associate is in Venice. So kudos, Yuko. I love you. Um, there was the kindest person there. Sorry, I keep, I'm like not the best at talking calmly when I'm not in my like filming set, set up. So now I'm shifting around a lot. Anyways, Bottega Veneta was literally the building next door to the, mu to, not museum, to the gallery. So I had to go in. And to my friend Buzz, I'm so sorry because I told, I promised you that I'd go with you to smell the fragrances. When an opportunity presents itself, which also stinks because I literally have a Chanel gift card and Chanel was across the street. So I'll have to go back. But just to leave us with a few thoughts, I, it, the notes and the fragrantica like descriptions of the Bottega fragrances, like I didn't expect them to be as good as they are save up the 450 dollars just save it up if you like bottega if you like fragrances just save it up i know a couple of you guys already are gonna be like oh okay yep we have to go for it they are better than i could have ever imagined and like i usually don't like like aldehaic is that even how you say it aldehyde type fragrances i usually don't like sea salt i usually don't like green fragrances and even like the ones that I wouldn't buy, I would still wear. How crazy is that? And so the one with the black cap, I forgot what it's called, I would in a heartbeat buy. But that one's like too like me. So the one that I sprayed on myself is Deja Minuit with the like, with the natural, I'm putting my, I'm putting this in here so that I remember also. Not with the lighter wood cap, because that one I would also probably wear, but with the darker natural wood cap. I it's so different for me it kind of reminds me of something but i can't quite put my nose on it haha -ha. it is so good so just save it up they're so pretty the bottles the only thing that happens is that they get kind of like oily so i was scared <laughs> probably just because so many people touch it and like in your own home you wouldn't be constantly touching it but like i was scared that i was gonna drop it because they they go from large to skinny at the top anyways um yeah they're beautiful it comes with that little stone thing it's a whole experience and i just like from the notes and the descriptions i didn't think i was gonna like any of them literally loved all five dill i, I texted dylan as soon as i got out and i was like just make some room in your christmas budget for it you're gonna want one and matisse is now licking her arm i'll show her in one second before we leave um i feel like i'm out of breath because i got so excited and then bag situation. I feel like multiple things happen in my brain. And so I'm very glad I went in just like on a whim. Okay, so I was really thinking that I loved the Bottega Bang Bang Vanity. I'm so glad that I showed it. Next, that I just so happened to take my L19 instead of the round 90s. That was like un totally unplanned. Didn't even think about, oh, I should compare it to the Bang Bang Vanity. Don't need it. So happy to take that off of my wish list. I do not need it it's like very cute even the amazing client rep was like it doesn't make my heart sing it's so practical but like why i'm not in that mode i want a bag 
to literally pull up my heartstrings these days slash like any day but I don't want to buy a bag just because it's practical and what I did figure out is that light butterscotch is my color and also dark praline which I've been saying for so long so I need to figure out Ooh, can I say this on camera because amazingly like honored I got I, I know these things are don't really matter at the end the end of the day but I got a little sneak peek of the mini Lauren and she's very cute I do have to say but I like the original Lauren size that is back on my wish list and whatever bags are coming in light butterscotch because that color and like I don't even really like the Andiamo my sister-in-law just got it so I love it you know love it for you but <laughs> like even like I'm just a color per I'm a tone person like that's why I love the row so much because what is it called like something there's like two new shades that I can't remember what they're called but from the row that I'm like yep the colors matter very much to me the tones matter very much to me so even in a bag that I didn't even like in a certain color I'll all of a sudden like if that makes sense again these things don't really matter in the grand scheme of things but if you're spending money you might as well like it and I'm realizing that I'm very much so an undertone person and just a tone person in general so I love light butterscotch and I love dark praline and I need to figure out if I need the Lauren in the original size because it's really really good otherwise Bottega just had like first of all they had some crocodile or alligator or whatever I never know which one is which they had some exotics that I was like damn they're so good and yeah that's it I feel like I that was good I ticked off a bag from my actual physical notes wish list but I added a fragrance so that's saving me two thousand dollars in the grand scheme of things so that's great and i love you guys this was like such a this is like really me though because i will just go to madison avenue and just pop around and have like a quick little day so this is very realistic and i hope you guys like my new bag i, I will do an entire video don't worry i'll end you saying goodbye to matisse matisse has been a little i mean this is an understatement matisse has not been feeling well so you know any little Thoughts that you want to give her? She's been having a tough time, my little girl. Let me just, this is not going to be the cutest angle, but my baby. She's my baby girl. Okay, sorry to leave you with the weirdest angle of all time, but that's my girl. Thank you guys as always. And yeah, I'll see you in a more formal video, but this was a real me weekend. I had a dream. I'm now I'm rambling. I had a dream this week that I like really missed Soho. <laughs> Because I also just like haven't let it, it's almost been in a, one exact year since I moved apartments. And I like had the first dream for the first, my dreams are very vivid if you know this about me. And so I've always had like intensive, intensive dreams. And for the first time I dreamt about Soho and I was like, wait, I do kind of miss it. Like it was literally 13 years of my life. I mean, plus it was like 18, 19 years of my life, but by myself, 11. So it was a really long time. And I just used to go everywhere with my dog, walk to the river, walk to Tribeca, walk to the meatpacking district, walk to the West Village, walk to the East Village constantly. And I missed that this week. And then this weekend, I just was like, no, we're in a much better place. And this is where I can take my future children. And I'm very, very, very grateful. And so this weekend solidified like, no, Soho's not Soho anymore. It's just insanely busy. So I don't even miss Soho of today. I miss Soho of like eight years ago. So I'm I'm yearning for something that doesn't even exist anymore. And I'm grateful that I've replaced it with something a thousand million times better. That's very close to where I used to hang out when I was a little kid. So I'm very excited. So this was a very confirming day. I love you guys. You know, say a little prayer for my little baby because Matisse has been going through it. And I usually don't say those things on my channel but you know what we're saying it today because i'm <laughs> i'm struggling but we're doing okay let me not even say i'm struggling it's a transitional time for us so my little girl has got to get better really haven't left the house this entire month so this was a nice day i love you guys now i'm over sharing but i who else am i gonna share this with you know i love you guys so much thank you as always for watching and i truly cannot wait to see you in my next one bye guys